talking about the Spaz 12L, the law enforcement only variant of the Spaz 12, uh, or rumored Spaz 12L, as it were. Um, before I jump into uh, exactly what people are saying the Spaz 12L is, uh, we need to do a little bit of learning. So I'm sorry if this video is a little bit dry. I'll put up some shooting videos later this summer, but uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and decode these receivers. So. Um, all of these different receivers, every Spaz 12 receiver that I've ever come across has been marked in the same way. Uh, it's split up into three different sections, and each section is separated by a hyphen. So, uh, you know, going from uh, left to right, because that's how you read, you have the model, you have the manufacturer, and you have the place of origin. Place of origin. So, uh, knowing that this is how the receivers are all marked, let's start going through some of these receivers, uh, you know, from uh, going from the oldest to the newest, and we'll see if they all follow this, this formula. So, this is one of the old four-digit receivers um, that is marked with large lettering, and the model number on this is SPAS, 12, S-P-A-S, -S, no periods, 12. So there's our model. Next, up here, Luigi Franchi, SPA. The manufacturer of the Spaz 12 is not Franchi. It is, but it isn't. It is actually Luigi Franchi, SPA. And as some evidence for that, here is a box. The uh, initials SPA have nothing to do with Spaz. That is a uh, business marking, like, a manu or a, uh, like an incorporation type of marking. It's a marking like we have INC or Corp. LLC, uh, you know, it's just an Italian version of that. So these stand for Italian words, which I can't pronounce. But yeah, Luigi Franchi SPA, Brescia, Italy is the, uh, well, we're getting there. So Luigi Franchi SPA is the manufacturer. Next, place of origin, Brescia, made in Italy. Okay, so yeah, this receiver fits. Next, this is one of the FIE marked receivers. Model, Spaz 12. Now they're separated by periods. Hyphen, separated by hyphen. L. Franchi SPA, because it's Luigi Franchi SPA. And then hyphen Brescia made in Italy. Uh, Brescia, the place of origin, it's a city in Italy. Brescia made in Italy. Next, we have another FIE receiver. Model, Spaz 12, L. Franchi SPA, Brescia made in Italy. Another FIE receiver. SPS 12 dash 12 or uh, de hyphen L Franchi SPA hyphen Brescia made in Italy. This is a American Arms receiver. Mark the exact same way SPAS 12 hyphen L Franchi SPA hyphen Brescia made in Italy. And what I keep noticing uh, on a lot of these gun broker auctions and people who are uh, you know writing in and saying hey I got the law enforcement only model of the Spaz 12 because it is the it is marked as such, Spaz 12L. So you can already kind of see what's going on there. They're, they're assuming that the gun was made by Franke and you know, people make mistakes. I'm not accusing anybody of trying to get any more money out of anybody for saying they've got a super rare model, but when people are seeing the Spaz 12L every single time, and it's happened, I mean, just within the last month, there's probably been seven to eight emails, people saying that there's a Spaz 12L on Gun Broker, or there's a Spaz 12L that their uncle has. And every time they send in photos, this is what they're seeing. Now, how can I prove that this is, I've got a little bit of evidence, I guess, to show that, that you know, why these are separated. Number one, on the old receiver, it's actually spelled out. One of the original receivers. This is one of the first, I think the serial number is under 3000, so. Luigi Franchi, it's actually spelled out Luigi. Now, on these receivers, the font height for the manufacturer name is four millimeters exactly high. That'll get us pretty close, so yeah, four millimeters. Covers that L completely. That also, you know, covers the uh, place of origin. Separated by the hyphen is the model number. That's not even close. You can tell that the top is getting clipped off there if I have it at the bottom. So the model number, which is Spaz 12, is a completely separate entity from the manufacturer marker, which is L period Franchi is on the L, and there it is on the two. So what you might be thinking is, well, there's only the two different styles of receivers. So how do I know that just because all of these were marked Spaz 12 L, maybe all of the ones that were marked in this manner were, uh, you know, that might not be an abbreviation. What if the L period is going to be for the, uh, you know, all these style receivers were marked? 
to be the law enforcement models. And you know these uh, these large marked receivers with the large Spaz 12, where it actually spells out Luigi. Maybe those are just the Spaz 12s. Well, I've kind of got the missing link uh, for for that argument. Popping up on your screen right now is the receiver markings on the side of a pretty special Spaz 12. It's the only one that I know of it or like of it in the United States. It's a factory 18 inch Spaz 12. Uh, it has a grip safety, a factory grip safety, so it has a total of three safeties. The uh, ret uh, stock retaining bolt is an Allen key uh, and the swivel drum sling mount on top of the pistol grip is metal and if you rotate it backwards it'll also detach the stock from the gun. So it has a, a lot going for it by way of you know being a kind of a cool different Spaz 12 but also if you look at the side there on the receiver markings it has the large lettering however separated over on its own uh, where the manufacturer markings are it's just marked L period Franke SPA so that does you know that's kind of proof I guess that they did sometimes abbreviate the Luigi and just use the L period and that's what people are seeing on, uh, you know, what they are assuming are these Spaz 12L guns. Now, I'm not saying that there were no uh, law enforcement only, you, you know, there, there might have been a version that they marketed to only law enforcement, but it's not the Spaz 12L that, that people are sending in and that most people think that they've got. Um, you know, the folding stocks obviously had more of a, a law enforcement edge to them because that way they could be, you know, they could store more of them in tight spaces and, and cars and things like that. but. Um, so was there such thing as, as a Spaz 12L, possibly, or, or there might have been such thing as a you know one that they marketed only towards uh, law enforcement? Now we've seen the embassy security advertisements, and I've seen a lot of paperwork, a lot of brochures and sales flyers, uh, dealer papers, and I've never seen anything where a gun is directly called a Spaz 12L. Um, you know, like I said, I can't say that that means they don't exist, but if your receiver is marked Spaz 12L, that really doesn't tell you anything other than that it's marked. Spaz 12, Luigi Franchi SPA. So, you know, hopefully this can save some people a little bit of money, uh, maybe give them a bargaining chip in the long run if somebody tries to tell them that they're selling them, you know, maybe some rare variant and that just doesn't so happen to be the case. Uh, but that is uh, everything that my evidence has pointed me towards is that that's the, you know, that's what people are seeing when they when they see these Spaz 12 L's. So hopefully this video has been informative to you. Uh, I'm going to have a lot more content coming up this summer. Um, so, you know, check back often. I'll have a page dedicated to the Spaz 12L information if anybody wants to use it for, you know, further future reference. But, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, check back often, Spaz 12 Project. It's spas-12.com. Thanks, guys.